Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm going to be discussing a very inspirational judoka. A judoka that had everything going against him, like family pressure and family tradition and also just not being as talented as the judokas of his generation because we all know the late 1800s and the turn of the century gave birth to arguably the best judokas and he is one of them and yet he was not considered as talented but regardless he achieved so much that man is Tamiyo Kurihara in my opinion his story should be told in a video of its own so Tamiyo Kurihara was born uh, in Himeji Japan uh, in 1896 and he is uh, one of the Kodokan red belts if for those of you who don't know uh, there are many 10th uh, dan red belts like Jean Lebel, Kaweishi, etc. But only 15 of them are awarded from the Kodokan and he is one of them. I believe he is the 11th to be awarded with 10th dan. So Kurihara was educated and studied at the Kyoto Budo Senmon Gako. So saying Kyoto, you would know that he has a strong relationship with Neiwaza and he graduated from Kyoto uh, High School. So when he was young, he was beaten against uh, Yamagata team uh, in Neiwaza and he swore day in and day out to train and become a ground master. So, but his father was a doctor and he was the eldest son, I believe. And according to tradition, the eldest son must follow the father's uh, career path and become a doctor as well but yet he chose to remain in judo and he started at the busan a professional martial arts school in kyoto in 1915 and one of his teachers was none other than hajime isogai and he told him that you know you are not talented and you have to work far harder than all the others in class in order to make it and become a good judoka and in my opinion these are one of those uh, defining moments that make you or break you uh, a lot of people would uh, hear this and just quit but uh, people like uh, kurihara took it and trained far harder than everyone else in order to uh, just become better than them i i still remember when i was in my first year of university uh, it was towards the end my uh, architecture professor told me listen uh, this is not for you i suggest you go and look for something else but nonetheless yes it was very long and hard in order to finish but i have three degrees in architecture now and uh, in my opinion when he told me this i knew that i had to work a lot harder it's gonna take me a lot longer to graduate than the others but uh, nonetheless it is doable and this instance with the uh, isogai reminds me of this uh, thing that happened to me when i was in school and that made me gain so much respect for kurihara so uh, he would train day in and day out and he would uh, do something called the tachiki uchikomi which is the technique against the tree i've talked about this in my kimura videos and tatsukuma yushijima with the osotogari he would do it uh, and twice as much on his opponents. So say he did 100 uchikomi on a tree, he would do 200 on his uh, fellow classmates. So he became at the age of 23, fourth dan due to this amount of work that he put in. And he was the youngest judoka to earn fourth dan at the age of 23. So let's talk about his competitive uh, achievements. So at the master of Tenran Shiai of 1929. So Kurihara's greatest victory was at that uh, tournament that was held in front of the emperor. And he was 34 years old and one of the youngest of 32 participants. So he went through the first rounds like easily. He bulldozed through them and he won the quarterfinal by Yoko Shiho Gatame or the side control because keep in mind this is judo and the pin is valid. The semifinals was against Abe. I'm pretty sure it's Kenshiro Abe if I'm not mistaken. And Abe was 20 kilograms heavier and 15 centimeters taller. Don't quote me on this. I'm not sure if it's Kenshiro Abe, but still. And the match was around 29 minutes long 
and the referee announced that Kurihara was the winner due to him being far more offensive than Abe. So the final was against a 26-year-old Tatsukuma Yoshijima. For those of you who don't know, Tatsukuma Yoshijima is uh, Masahiko Kimura's teacher and also the All Japan champion. He was back then at the age of 26, uh, fifth dan. He went up against uh, Kurihara and the match was very long and Tatsukuma Yoshijima had uh, a 33 minute quarter final and won by Uchimata so I'm sure this exhausted him going through the semi-finals and finally reaching Kurihara at the finals but uh, during the final Kurihara beat Yoshijima in 25 minutes Kurihara was far more aggressive and he was declared the winner by the referees in front of the uh, emperor so it was pleasing to the emperor to watch this and also uh, one of Kurihara's greatest achievements to beat one of the best which is Tatsukuma Yoshijima someone who is very offensive had demon like eyes and still he beat him in a very long match so he was a Shihan at Kyoto's third high school also at the Kyoto Imperial University or one of the Kosen Judo universities uh, he also was a teacher at the Busan and he was the technical director at the judo section of the Daisan College after the end of World War II. Uh, he was a judo professor at the Kyoto Police Department and the University of Kyoto, uh, which is ironically at the medical school. He was the judo teacher there. So uh, in my opinion, it's a way to please his father. He taught judo at the medical school uh, as a way of, you know, making amends with family tradition and family values which is very uh, very nice in my opinion and a great tribute to the family he was not disrespectful but he wanted to go his own way so in 1950 he founded his own dojo in Kyoto he traveled to Europe uh, in France specifically as you saw the early demonstration that was in France and also Africa uh, and taught judo there from 1951 till 1952. He wrote several judo books and was the president of the Kyoto Judo Federation, the director of the Judo Federation of Japan in entirety, leaving behind a very impressive uh, record competitively and also academically and promoting judo outside of Japan and also being one of the best teachers in Japan and also a great Niwaza expert. Uh, on October of 1965, he received the Hoshu Shiju, a purple ribbon medal. And finally, on October 8th, 1979, he passed away at the age of 84. The Kodokan president awarded him 10th Dan posthumously in 1979. So he became uh, a 10th Dan red belt in uh, eight, 1979 after uh, his death a lot of these uh, great masters were awarded 10th dan after their death so he was the 11th like i said to be awarded uh, out of the 15 from the kodokan i will address the 15 kodokan 10th dan in a video of its own but uh, if you have anything else to add about this great uh, master let me know down below this was shadi and thank you for listening